Hey guys, so me and Savannah, my daughter, we built this fencing. It was not easy. Um, so what we did was bought metal posts and wiring. And you have to buy, I don't know where it is, but it's like this big black thing that you smash the metal posts into the ground to help them go in um <clears throat> we also did some wood posts into the ground with cement i bought a uh, machine to help me with that um i made sure my fencing was big enough for my goats and other animals um it was not easy it probably took us several months to get this done because I was busy doing other things too and so pretty much I mean we did our best it's pretty tight at the most part and then pieces that weren't tight we just added some more posts and metal posts um so I don't know why this one looks a little crooked right here um but some parts I need to go back over and do, and then I'll probably put something in the ground. You see how that's loose. I'll probably end up putting something down so things can't get underneath it. Maybe some um, cinder blocks, or they have these things online on Amazon where you put them into the ground and things can't dig under the ground i'm not sure what they're called i'll have to look it up and me and my daughter and my son and my partner helped build this but mostly me and my daughter built it um pretty much i put posts into the ground it took us a while to get it done i was very determined so it got done in like two weeks um I then transported my cage from the dog area over here, so they have an, a shelter and a cage, um, and the reason why I had to hurry up and get this fencing done is because my female goat, Katie, had babies, and so I didn't want to keep them in the dog area because the dogs, they, um... They don't like the goats for some reason. They chase them and stuff. Cookie! Cookie! I don't know what they're eating. Hold on. Uh, cookie, what are you eating? For some reason, my dog is in here eating crap. I don't know what it is. Cookie! See, y'all are going to throw up whatever that is. Cookie! Cookie! Stop eating that. That's nasty. No! No, no. I had the goats over here in the uh, fence, and then I moved it. And now that I have all this crap and hay right here from them, my dogs keep getting into it. Cookie! Sorry. Cookie! I'm going to get you, Cookie. Get out of that. That is nasty. Stop eating that. Kendra, go put the dogs back inside. They're eating this stuff out here. It's gross. I gotta, I'm gonna end up scooping that out and shoveling it and putting it into the woods. It's disgusting. It's from the goats. Old poop and stuff. Um, there's my chickens. I got some more chickens for you guys. They're babies. They're inside. They'll be coming out to play with you soon. All right. So back to my fencing. I'm going to show you the gate I made. <laughs> Kendra, go bring the dogs inside. They're eating that stuff. So, pretty much just got some fencing posts and put them together and built me a gate. <laughs> so, it's not the best looking thing, but it keeps my goats in. So, when I did it, I put these two pieces right here and then just put fencing posts across and pretty much just made a, made a gate. 
So it keeps the goat in, so that's all that matters. The only thing about it is my posts are coming out of the ground because I did not do a good job with um, concreting them. So because this is my first time, um, so I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do for that because that's not good. Um, yeah. Not good at all. Hopefully, I can get that to stay as long as possible. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, so here's the shelter I built. Oh, there's my baby goats. Merle and Kate, uh, Pepper. Merle and Pepper. Mer is already trying to jump on top of her. So I'm a little concerned because I'm hoping that these aren't going to come out the ground. Hopefully. Um, so here's the shelter. I'm doing plastic see-through roofing. I'm not finished with it yet. I'm going to be putting more across. Um, there are some things that this is my first time doing this. So there are some things that I probably messed up on. And probably going to have to redo. Because I'm learning. So, and because I didn't want to pay a lot of money for somebody to come do it, so I tried to do it myself. So there's the baby goats. That's Pepper, and that's Merle, and there's Mama Katie, and there is Mel. He is the male, and he has to be separated from Mom and the babies because he can either get too aggressive or try to get her pregnant again, which you do not want to happen. Because she just had babies and she cannot get pregnant again for another six months to a year. So she's not supposed to get pregnant again. So I'm going to have to get a couple more females out here. Um, I will be selling Pepper and Merle um, to a good home. So that's... That's pretty much why I got the goats, is for pets, and I love them, and as I breed them, they will be going to good homes. So, and they love it out here, they're happy. I just gotta, I'm a little bit upset about that post. I think that the girls are not aware and looking at what they're doing when they close this gate. And now it's wiggling my post. And so now I have to figure out what to do. So if anybody actually has any comments or suggestions, I mean, it might last if it just stays like that and doesn't go anywhere. And how I can fix that, please let me know. I would appreciate it. And... Here's my owl, and it, his name is Hoo Hoo. He actually got him on Amazon, and he keeps predators away. His eyes light up at night, and he looks really scary at night. So, <coughs> um, hopefully, I can improve on my fencing and stuff, guys. What y'all doing? Um. So that is all I have, and thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.